hi everyone welcome back to the laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we will see that how we can export the excel file so first of all i just want to show you the demo that actually what we are going to do in this video so this is my just a simple url and whenever i am just refresh it now you can see that from the database i just fetch this data and this data is related to the this table all right so i am get, getting the data from like this so uh, now I'm just going to delete my whole code and I will uh, show you from the very scratch and for that I'm just going to pause a video so now just I delete my whole code so now let's see what steps we have to do for this so these are the steps so first of all we will use the mat website package and we will uh, install it uh, with the composer then uh, we will have to make the database connection we have to make the model and controller and after that we will get the data from database after that we will just add service provider and alias of meta web package and after that we will write a small code to import the excel all right so uh, now uh, let's start with the code and just i'm on going to open up my command prompt and here let's write a composer required and just write here mat website slash excel and it will just install within a moment and in this moment let's uh, just finish the other work so first of all let's see uh, this is my database here you can see the three data uh, maybe at the last we can add some more or we can delete so just verify the or uh, everything is working fine all right so and after that uh, let's make the database configuration i just already show you in the last videos link is given in the description box also so but still i just want to show you once again so just open dot env file and here you just have to write three files three things one your database name username and password in your case password can be blank or something else also so please take care about it all right so after that uh, let's uh, we just made the database connection here and let's make a model and controller All right so uh, within this time this package is also installed so just write here php artisan make uh, model and the what should be the model name so my database table name is the products so my uh, my model name should be product And just hit the enter and now model is created let's see where it is created so just come back to here and as you can see that we got the model here and at the same time just create the controller also controller and here I can write here products all right and just hit the enter now this is also created where it will be created inside the controller and let's refresh it now you can see that I have a product here all right so I am just going to make a function first of all it like uh, export data or whatever you want to put and uh, simply just return something like hello or anything else so just I we can just check the routes and open the web.php so we can just define the route and just make a route here like this and export is my route and uh, products at the rate my function name what I put the function name here let me check so this is my excel export right. so just right here and put the semicolon at the last now let's check is it working or not so just write here export and here you can see that it's working and at the same time package is also installed now I'll finish the other things very quickly so uh, now what is the next thing next thing we have to get the data from the database table so just use uh, app and product simply and you can just uh, return this scope resolution method all and now you can see that we got the whole data here all right so this is also done now but actually what should be the next step so now I have to uh, 
add the service provider and the alias for that I am just going inside the uh, app.php and at the last of providers just add a one more package and here is my package name which is the mat website slash axel slash uh, axel service provider axel service provider yep and uh, this should be class right so if you just uh, after the end of this video i will tell you what is the official package and how you can get the documentation of it so don't worry for now you can just continue with me okay so uh, this is also done now just come to the alias and here you can write any alias like i am just going to put the, my alias name is axel and here just write here mat website and after that just write here excel okay oh that's my mat excel and after that i can just write here facet oops That's it. So what the hell is going on here? Okay, so at the last just write here Axel again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, it should be Axel. And uh, this should be the class. No, but the spelling of Axel should be also right. Perfect. So now this thing is ready. So now just come back to my product table and here we need to import the two things. One is Excel, which is we just uh, make as an uh, alias here, All right? So, yep. And after that, we have to use uh, one more thing from the uh, package. So which is the Met website slash um, what it is uh, yeah uh, this is also Excel it's all about Excel uh, faggot no faggot not it's a uh, concern mm -mm -mm -mm. and at the last the concern you can uh, just simply write here from collection it should be the collection only right now just make one more class with the class and uh, you can just write here data export you can put the class name implement implements and just write here the class name which is the form uh, collection all right and after that you can just copy this public function if you want and just simply can you can put here okay so okay that's fine now uh, you can just uh, put the function name like axel sheet or uh, axel tb whatever you want to put like that's fine excel tv is fine now all right so if you just make it collection then this is also fine so collection is nice name i think okay so now you just have to write return here and in the return just choose the excel scope resolution method and download function in the download function there should be the two parameters one is the new data export all right and the second parameter should be the file name like product products dot excel uh, no uh, e l s x this is the extension of excel file yeah okay so i hope everything is right so if still if there is some issue then i will check and let's see what's going on so okay so they are just 
collection form collection is not found here so let me check what's the issue with it so um yeah i think i just got the issue i just have to write here uh from and we can just also replace it okay so let's see the check is there any issue now there is no issue so let's make it uh, uncommented and now let's check now uh, let's see now we can see that the data is here so let's uh, make some one more entries or some delete entries so i just change the ibm with the yahoo and now uh, let's export once again now in this case you can got that we got the yahoo here so this is all about that how we can get the uh, data from database and make export the excel with it and uh, uh, this is also very simple so and this is the official website for it if you just want to check it so uh, like that uh, you just uh, google it the excel laravel and you will just find this uh, documentation here and after that you can see that how we can uh, simply install it uh, you just have to go on the second link if you just want to go on the official website just documentation and here just check the two two pages one is the installation and uh, if you just want to check the second one then uh, you can just go for the uh, export and import so you will just find the everything like here right so you will just uh, get the data from here we will just do the same things you can just check here and this is all about the installation and provider and all so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel once again and uh, like this video please share if you can do and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye